Hello, it's time to go hardcore, grindcore, punkish together with a real veteran. His name is Kevin Sharp, and he's the vocalist of a band, a little band called Brutal Truth, a legendary band. But he's also the vocalist for another band called Venomous Concept, and they've got a new album out on Season of Mist, August 28th. And the album's name is uh, Politics Versus The Erection. So, hi, Kevin, and welcome to Band Bond. Well, hello, and thank you for having me. Uh, your new album is called Politics Versus The Erection. And besides the obvious, what does The Erection stand for? A lot of people think it's like a, just a straight up Trump bashing, but if anyone's followed my lyrics for a minute, they just realize that, that like it doesn't matter. I just don't trust politicians in general. I trust them less now that like a carnival kind of dude is running the show. But, uh, you know, in terms of the erection, a lot of it has to do with uh, the way politics is marketed these days. And the erection would be uh, like spurring uh, some kind of reaction on social media, the marketing, you know, through Facebook and and the way people have been divided through memes and weird ads and bots and things like that. Um, and it just seems really strange to me, like how, you know, people get so amped up and, and, and thinking that, that, uh, that their team really cares about them. Team blue really cares about you or team red really cares about you. Here's a newsflash. They don't, you know, they care about themselves and it's clear now, like they're supposed to be having some kind of, uh, second round of stimulus they see here in america they were like here's your twelve hundred dollars now enjoy being unemployed for the next six months and uh you're on your own you know yeah that's bizarre it's really bizarre and uh, you know i don't know whether you're following it over here but like you know uh, a long time like what's basically happened since 45 came into office was that that like the division got so strong between the two parties that really anything that they discuss has nothing to do with us. It has everything to do with them being bitter and angry because they didn't get their way on something that they wanted to do. It's all really petty. And guess what? You know, we got 5 million positive cases of this stuff and you are not helping you're helping yourself, but you're not helping us. We're trying to figure out how to exist, and all you can do is, is market fear into everyone and scare everyone into voting for you versus the other guy. You don't even have a plan on how to get the fuck out of this mess. You just sit there with your fucking political stick and point, you know? And so the erection is a reaction to your political message that you're being fed. Mm. trying to get a rise out of you you know what i <laughs> yeah, mean yeah 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 so I, I guess it's not a coincidence that your album is released just a couple of months before the american election then uh you know what we we really didn't know when it was going to be out you know with with the with everything being in limbo and stuff like that you know we recorded the record ourselves michael actually paid us on the back end you know to do to, to put out the record and stuff like that, but we're in a different position where we usually record it ourselves and then and then you know put it out afterwards and stuff like that. But a lot of labels aren't wanting to go out of pocket right now, and that's why you're not seeing a lot of releases, you know, because they don't really know how to sell records without you out there running around venues selling records. You know, if you're not out there promoting the record that's that's being sold, how do you sell it? Um, say for instance, I put this to you, you have a thousand capacity room. Okay. And now with the virus, they are only letting 250 people in the room. Hmm. Okay. So how does that work financially? It doesn't, you know, you got, you got a thousand capacity room or something like that. Whoever the band is has expenses, be it flights, be it. Uh, 
bus or van or however transportation has uh, gear rental has booking agents and promoters and at, at various hands in in that pot where is the math yeah doesn't that up and I can tell you for instance for me personally I have no desire to go sit in a thousand capacity room and play to 250 people it's like one of the toughest gigs ever what I do is I get in a room that has 300 capacity and sell 350 tickets and then I'm up in people's faces and and that's what I do I don't know whether they'll let me do what I do anymore no. No. Um, I think uh, the new album's got a really brilliant cover. It's like the Alfred E. Neumann character from the Mad Magazine. And uh, half of the other face is uh, Donald Trump. I think it's totally brilliant. Is that how you see the world today? Like uh, an edition of Mad Magazine? Well, you know, I grew up on Mad and, and Garbage Pale Kids and things like that. And, and I, you know, if you read the lyrics, there's certain dark humor in my lyrics. And, and so I kind of make fun of the situation. Now, in terms of, of uh, you know, the back cover with the Twitter cock, uh, do you, have you seen the, the Twitter cock? You know what I speak of? No, I don't. Sorry. <laughs> so you haven't seen all the artwork? No, just the front cover. <laughs> Okay. See, now you, you're going to only get part of the picture with that. You're going to think that I'm out there Trump bashing and stuff like that, but I'm making fun of the whole political circus. 